This use a plane is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes, your sun power. This is the 7 a.m. Barbados Today update for Monday, April the 29th, 2014. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Good morning. Our religious icon is finally laid to rest after a funeral service lasting about 13 hours. Patriarch of the Spiritual Baptist Movement in Barbados, Archbishop Granville Williams was buried in an elaborate ceremony punctuated by pomp and circumstance unprecedented in the history of Barbados in events of this nature. His final resting place, a mausoleum on the grounds of the Sons of God Apostolic Spiritual Baptist Cathedral at Ealing Grove in Christ Church a few steps away from where he once lived. Hundreds of spiritual Baptists from Barbados, the Caribbean and internationally attended the service, which featured traditional hymns, dancing and music. Prominent officials included Roman Catholic leader Monsignor Vincent Blackett, Pan-Africanist David Denny, government parliamentarian James Paul, and former government ministers Reginald Farley and Clyde Maskell. In his sermon, William's son, Archbishop Dr. Aaron Granville Williams, told believers not to worship his father. You can have this great man of God, this work that he have done, go down the drain with foolishness, fighting for power and all kind of nonsense. Come on, do I have a witness here? On to other news now, emergency officials remain on standby. They say the fire at Mangrove Landfill, which broke out yesterday morning, could once again get out of control. It took more than seven hours to bring the fire, which was fueled by discarded vehicle tires, to a manageable level. The Accident and Emergency Department at the QEH and two shelters were put on alert. Incident Commander Assistant Superintendent of Police Bruce Rowe told the media that no injuries had been reported up to last night. We will continue to monitor it for the next couple of days because the heat is a problem and it may have been bad. But so far we are progressing steadily and good. I can tell you that the smoke is not really affecting people downwind in our child. We've had the assistance of ETB, EPD and others in check-in and we're continuing to monitor. Begin talks early. That's what the Barbados Association of Masqueraders is telling the authorities following their decision to revert to the original day for the four-day morning jump-up. While welcoming the decision announced at the weekend by the Culture Minister, Association President Chetwin Stewart said any discussion on changing the day for the jam should be held as soon as this year's crop over is finished. At least now we have time to sit down, bring all the parties involved, sit down and look. You know, how it would disadvantage or it would advantage at the end of the day, you know, something might have to give. But you need to do that. You just can't one minute on, next minute off. There's regional and international news after this short break. Because she deserves it. Make her Mother's Day. Send us a photo and a message telling the world why your mother is simply the best at love at barbadostoday.bb Enter now for your chance to win lunch for two at the Crane Hotel and other prizes. The deadline is May 6. Mom deserves it. All entries will be published. Over to Antigua now. Two victories, one for the government and the other for the main opposition party. The Court of Appeal has struck down a challenge by the Antigua Labour Party to re-register the voters. This means the impending general election must be conducted on the voters list emerging from the re-registration exercise conducted late last year. On the other matter, the court ruled consultations on proposed boundary changes were not enough. 
Authorities have already said that no changes will be made to the boundaries ahead of general elections due by July. In the United States, a string of tornadoes ripped through northern Mississippi and Alabama last night, a day after another line of storms killed 16 people to their west. Several buildings were destroyed, while others were damaged. The National Weather Service's Storm Prediction Center declared tornado emergencies for several counties in northern Mississippi as a line of storms moved through the state from southwest to northwest. That's our 7 a.m. update. Join us again at noon. But in the meantime, log on to www.barbadistoday.bb. Subscribe to our e-paper and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. The Business Minute is brought to you by Signia Financial Group. To my people out there working hard to expand your horizons, chasing a flawless dream. Keep your eyes on the prize and we don't look back. It's forward thinking on to the new stuff. It's time to lay bricks on the foundation of your future. Get set for Signia to be sure the world will be yours. Take you to exceptional, incredible new heights. And get set for Signia. Signia, quality solutions for your financial needs. This is the Barbados Today Business Minute for Tuesday, April 29, 2014. I'm Vic Fernandes. Strong signs of improving fortunes for the tourism industry despite depressed economic conditions. In fact, Tourism Minister Richard Seeley tells the Business Minute, since the start of the year, activity in the sector has been more than satisfactory with flights out of Europe on the increase. He was also encouraged by positive feedback from industry operators regarding tourism spend. The spend has been good. The car rental companies, the restaurants, I mean, are all speaking to, um, you know, record levels of expenditure. And, and that is, for me, the real victory in, in this winter season. More spend, more foreign exchange being left in the country. Telecommunications company Flow reports Barbados is its fastest growing market. The company, which set up operations here a year ago as Columbus Barbados, boasts that its services are available in about 60,000 homes across the island and it's on a mission to provide services to about 90% of households by the end of the year. Speaking at the company's one-year anniversary celebrations at the Concord Experience recently, President and Chief Operating Officer of Columbus Communications, John Reed, said he's overwhelmed by the positive response. I can tell you this has been, as I said to an address and staff last week, the fastest growing country that we've ever entered. At our launch last year, we committed to delivering service to approximately 30% of households in 2013, and yet today, 60% of households throughout the island have access to our services. Looking back, it has been an eventful year. The National Initiative for Service Excellence is reporting increased interest from small businesses for its movement challenge this year when compared to last year. Chief Executive Officer of NICE, Kim Tudor, says she is pleased with the level of response to the Take One Million Steps in 100 Days initiative. Tudor adds she's been receiving reports that some companies continue to include former workers who are retrenched. Over 600 individuals and 47 companies registered for the challenge, which is to be completed in 41 days. I'm happy to say um, this year, in 2014, uh, we've seen a lot more smaller companies and a lot more local companies involved in the challenge and trying to improve their organization. So we're very pleased about that. Now for today's financial tip. It is okay to treat your family's finances as a business matter. Holding a meeting to discuss family finances can help to save in some areas. That's been the Barbados Today Business Minute. Join us again on Thursday. Until then, you can get more business and news by logging on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribing to our e-paper, and liking us on Facebook. I'm Vic Fernandes. The Business Minute is brought to you by Signia Financial Group. To my people out there working hard to expand your horizons, chasing a flawless dream. 
Keep your eyes on the prize and we don't look back. It's forward thinking, on to the new stuff. It's time to lay bricks on the foundation of your future. Get set for Sydney. Signia, quality solutions for your financial needs.